Hi guys, welcome back to Welsh World Gaming. Um, I just want to do a video of a bit of an update on um, my LRDG slash SAS force and I'm building up for boat action. Um, I've painted some of the old um, infantry now and I've got the trucks ready as, um, as well. So if you've seen the previous video of these trucks, these are from um, Paint and Glue Miniatures. Um, they were they're 3D prints. Um, I basically added um, bits and bobs, some stowage. Um, I made a tarp out of green stuff. Um, I butchered um, I butchered one of the um, infantrymen to act as a driver. If you do look closely, he's uh, lost his legs. But um, I think if I got these again, what I'd do is probably I'd probably cut out. Um, I'd probably cut out the steering wheel. Um, maybe drill down and cut out there so I can actually get a figure with legs in. So, uh, but on the table, um, I think they look pretty good. Um, I'm happy with them, to be honest with you, they look alright. So uh, this one here, um, it's got a radio guy in the back. Um, I might do an aerial coming up. If I can find some suitable that I can take on and off or maybe they'll bend down. Um, having a quick uh, cigarette. Uh, the first time I, I ever used um, this stuff, so AK Africa Dust Effects. First time I used it, I, th I, I think I brushed it too much on. Um, what I found worked best, um, I might watch some more tutorials on it, is um, dabbing in with a bit of, um, dabbing it on with some sponge to make it look more dusty. But uh, I think I could probably get um, the same effect with just the sponge and some water down, uh, like you shabbed your bone or something maybe. But I tried it. Um, I'll probably get some mud effects as well for some of the more um, Western Europe um, and Eastern European theatres. But uh, I'm not in a rush to get any more of it, to be honest with you. Um, I painted up some of the infantry. I think I've explained in the last video to get the amount of um, SMGs I needed. Some of these have been, um, like these arms are from a, um, the Winter German box. But. Uh, I wanted them to look um, a bit ragtag with um, different weapons and some of them got MP40s and most of them got their bobble hats on, one or two have got the actual um, Arab headdress, um, it's, it's got their MP40, but uh, I'm happy with them, it's not, there's only so much you can do with um, the desert uniform really, um, this guy, he's got his beret on, the beige beret. The original SES before they went over to the red one, or the um, whatever what red is it? It's more of a, um, it's more of a darker red slash purple maybe. But yeah, so um, this is what I've got painted so far. Um, I'm building the army out of the uh, the Western Desert book. Um, basically, in here you've got a reinforced platoon, so it's an independent platoon, just SES. Uh, if you're being, I'll move the camera back and get it in focus. Um, so it's this one here, the reinforced platoon. Um, so we're going to have an officer, two SAS infantry sections. Uh, and then you're going to have an additional 0 to 4 SAS infantry sections, 0 to 2 demolition teams. So, so I've, um, I've kit bashed a few of them little demolition teams. Uh, 3 to 6 jeeps, so my, the next purchase will probably be 3 jeeps, which I'm not quite sure where I'm going to source them from yet. Um, I am thinking about getting the Warlord ones because it comes with the crew, the guns, and all the bits and bobs. Um, you can have a Blitz buggy and you can have a transport for each squad. Now the transport that is gonna, are going to be the um, the Chevys in the back. Uh, so I've got three Chevys. Um, in the um, you can use um, Easy Army to do this, but um, I do like to have the books. Um, flick through with nice pictures in it and stuff. If you look in the vehicle and the transport section, let's get the transports. And there they are, the transport. So it's 78 points for the, um, they got to be veteran. Um, with a forward facing pendle mount with MMG. You can swap the MMG for the Vickers K for 15 points, which basically gives you an extra shot. Um, they come with recce, behind enemy lines, and deflate those tyres. So these um, are like special rules in this book with the campaign. Behind enemy lines, basically, you don't have to take. Um, you don't suffer a minus one to you um, to come on the table when you roll the old um, or the, like the initiative. So if you come on from uh, reserve or on the flank, 
usually got to take um, an order test at minus one. But I think behind the line, it doesn't give you the minus one. So uh, that could be handy. Uh, you, can, you can also use the transport for um, the Jeeps as well. So uh, they're a bit cheaper. Um, you can only carry four men, so these might be, these might be nice for the old um, demolition teams or like your captain. Uh, so yeah, but um, if we flick to the actual SAS, the actual infantry squad itself. So it consists of an officer and up to three further men. Um, rifles and anti-tank grades. Um, you can basically replace all their rifles with SMGs, which I've done because um, I'm not going to use my SES as sort of a gun line stand to get in some cover and pick away the enemy from 24 inches away. I want these to get up close and personal, so I've given more SMGs. Um, in future, I might do another box and make some more rifle men up, but at the moment, I'm happy with just all the SMGs. Um, the SMGs, sorry. You can give them a light machine gun as well, which um, I've modeled some guys with light machine guns just in case. I like to have the options. Um, you can add up to four men at 19 points each, which is quite steep. But one of them, you can actually designate as um, a medic, which could be for five points, um, you know, could be pretty handy to have a medic in your squad. So uh, they, come all, they come already with tough fighters, stubborn, behind enemy lines, tank hunters. So they've already got tank, tank grenades and obviously the team medic then. So um, it just explains the... Um, and you can basically you can use a um, the medic special rule any member of the team, including himself, and um, is not subject to the Geneva Convention, which basically means he can shoot and be shot at. But uh, in our games, uh, some of the boys like to shoot the medic, which is uh, I don't mind. So uh, yeah, but the um, it's a nice little book. These are the demolition teams. Um, the, these are not the best to be honest with you. Um, I think they're more they're more for a bit of fun. But um, it'd be interesting to take some maybe, and um, actually see if I can see if I can use them in a normal game. So at the moment, I am I haven't really worked out the points yet. I think when I worked out the points out of the book before I actually started buying models, I think it was up to like seven hundred odd points just for the three trucks, um, three jeeps, and a couple of squads of SAS. Uh, they're pretty expensive. Um, you're not going to get a lot of them in a in a thousand point army. Um, I don't think you should be able to get a lot of them because it's the whole idea of the SES is small, small teams, elites. So it sort of fits. Um, I'm hoping to get a game in maybe with them, but uh, I'm not holding my breath at the moment because they haven't actually got any. Um, they haven't got any um, adversaries yet. Um, so I might have to use my own DAC, which I bought a DAC army. Um, half is painted and half is still metal. So uh, maybe someone will have to use that just so I can give it a chance to get my SES on the board. So I'm not in a total rush to get these painted, which is nice. Um, I would just take my time and I've just been painting them up a little bit here, a little bit there. Swapping between different projects, which I find for myself, um, lets me like gets me painting a lot more. If I sat there and painting like 60 French line infantry, um, I just, I can't. I'd rather paint like half a unit. Um, I, I did do a unit last time. And then uh, move back on to bow action. Um, I've been painting up some uh, Zulu War stuff as well in between. So I've been swapping and changing just to keep it fresh. Because they, uh, they do say that a change is as good as a rest. Which is right. Um, for my DAC I've got, well, I've got a few tanks. I've got two Tigers, a couple of Panzer Freeze. So um, this army will go nice with my British 8th Army. Um, I think I've done a video on my British 8th Army if you want to check that out as well. Um, the colour scheme's the same, um, the basin's the same, um, I use that Luke's app stuff, uh, desert base, which is really nice, uh, nice and easy to do, and it, 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 you know, it gives you a nice base to be, uh, to be fair, like, uh, a couple of tufts, uh, I know the desert probably would have been quite sparse, but I like to put tufts on the base, just to, they make them a little bit more... I think you want to have a little bit of um, poetic license when you're doing an army. Um, I think you're trying to do it too historical and too accurate. Um, sometimes it can be quite well, not boring if you like that sort of thing. But strict, you know, it can restrict you a lot. Um, I think in our games we do try and stick um, historical as much as we can. But there's only so many times you can play the scenarios. You need to make up your own ones. You know, get um, 
maybe a couple of what if scenarios or what if they took this what if they use this so yeah so uh that's it but uh, guys just a quick update on my SES to say um, I am painting them because it's been a while uh, since I actually showed them so uh, yeah so thanks for listening and thanks for watching as always and uh, happy hobbying